a Japanese yen stable coin blockchain to be used in Russian ports and will Elon Musk be the next person to hold the lightning torch? Let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Please make sure you hit the subscribe and also notifications button so you don't miss an episode. I'm Edward and we're going to be bringing you the news from the world of crypto now three times a week on Sundays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you're in Los Angeles, each episode will be live at 2 p.m. your time. If you're in New York, it's a 5 p.m. start time for you. And if you're across the Atlantic over in London, the show will launch at 10 p.m. for you. Enjoy today's episode. U.S.-based digital asset firm Morgan Creek Digital has raised $40 million in recent fundraising efforts, according to a February 12 article on NextWeb. The funds will be used to develop the Morgan Creek Blockchain Opportunities Fund, which will invest in blockchain ecosystem projects and virtual currency. The largest investments came from two public pension funds, the Fairfax Community Police and Fairfax County Employees Pension Plans. According to Forbes, the fund has already invested some of the money in blockchain-based startups such as backed exchange platforms and trust token, as well as established firms such as Coinbase. As much as $4 million could be used directly to buy cryptocurrency. Do money managers feel confident enough in the crypto space to risk retirement plans on digital currency? It certainly seems that way. Japanese IT giant GMO Internet has confirmed that it plans to launch its yen-backed stablecoin, Gwen, this year. News was revealed during an earnings presentation to investors held after GMO released its financial results for the fiscal year ending in December of 2018. The company executives revealed that the firm has set up a subsidiary and appointed a person responsible for Gwen operations to issue the stablecoin in 2019. The company further noted that it will be able to announce where the stablecoin will be issued shortly. It looks like the stablecoin trend is on the rise globally. Jack Dorsey, CEO and co-founder of Twitter, has a lot to say about Bitcoin and also blockchain. The Twitter co-founder and CEO was interviewed on the popular podcast show, The Joe Rogan Experience, where he spoke extensively about the new form of money and its potential impact on the world, saying that the internet will have a native currency. Jack Dorsey notes the challenges posed against Bitcoin, while also having firm conviction that the digital gold will be the victor in the upcoming years as new projects appear. While he's not 100% certain that Bitcoin will reign in the future, he does feel it has a strong position. It is anyone's guess what will become the native currency of the internet, but Dorsey believes so heavily in Bitcoin, this could affect the entire crypto market. Russian shipping logistics company Infotech will develop a blockchain-based system for the ports in which it operates. Russian maritime news outlet reported on the 11th of February that to develop a blockchain-based solution dubbed Edgeport, the firm has partnered with Moscow-based blockchain startup Iconic. The network will reportedly allow participants in port activity to store all necessary documentation on a blockchain. According to the company, all services in port, including vessel parking, tugboat rentals, can be ordered and tracked an online system without time-consuming paperwork. Now, Infotech told the publication that Edgeport will enable the firm to reduce the time spent on port operations from four hours to 25 minutes. Let's see how well this works for the ports in question and what other companies follow suit with this kind of platform in the years to come. The Bitcoin Lightning Torch experiment is catching up with more momentum every single day. So far, the experiment has attracted over 140 participants from over 37 countries. Last week, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey was the latest to pick it up. Currently, Changpeng Zhao, the CEO of crypto exchange Binance, holds it. The Lightning Torch movement breaks down like this. Using the Twitter platform, people, mostly Bitcoin enthusiasts, pass on the torch payment by adding 10,000 satoshis worth of actual payment made to their orders, which is about 35 US cents. The community terms this as the LN trust chain. Also, anyone holding the torch has to send it to someone they trust who will pass it further along. To further relay the Lightning Torch transaction, Zhao nominated Tesla CEO Elon Musk as the next contender. Jack Dorsey also had recommended Musk's name to keep the torch flame going. However, Musk has maintained his silence on this matter so far. Elon Musk is seen as many by the real-life Iron Man. If he joins this new trend, it could bring a whole lot more attention to the Lightning Network.
Many thanks for tuning into today's episode. If you have any questions or comments on this particular video or cryptocurrency more generally, just drop us a line in the comments below. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take it easy. Yay!